Bad Jews is a comedy about the third generation of a Jewish family in America. The patriarch of the family has just passed away and the grandkids have come to this apartment in New York. One of them is a very religious Jew and one of them is a very secular Jew and the two of them square off over who is going to carry on the legacy of the family. And he went into the kitchen and he found shortbread cookies. And even Miyushi was like, Joshua Harmon is a young writer. He's an old school playwright in some ways. This play is incredibly well structured. It's all in real time, one scene that just continues and all of the action is built on the bones of really old school dramatic structure. Intentions, actions, language carry everything and teach us who these characters are and why we care about them. What's really interesting about this particular play is that most of it, almost all of it, takes place inside one room. This space is a dedicated thrust, meaning there's audience on three sides. So you have to think about designing the scenery in a more dimensional way. It has to architecturally be believable that this is a studio apartment. This room is like my worst nightmare. We're on top of each other. We're on top of each other. Yes, you can't even move them. I think it's always great when a playwright takes on a very serious cultural issue like what does faith mean to us now and treat it with heartfelt comedy. It allows us to laugh at ourselves, to laugh at our society, but also to really think deeply about what we're doing in a way that sort of breaks down the walls that can happen when you get political and when you get dramatic about who's right and who's wrong. So I'm really happy to be working on such an important play, but also one that has the muscles and the force of a magic play. Thank you.